everyone and i think we're live hi everyone i am here with aaron russell the can i say this the australian star player um <laughs> <laughs> well well you are i mean you came to europe and won three tournaments so I, i'm I, it's it's you're a star player and you basically won all the tournaments you've ever attended in australia right um more or less so far so far <laughs> let's say it like that so far right um today we're, we're going to speculate about version three and uh one of the uh, one of the commenters to a video recently has said in my opinion the darker steward is not dead when all tanks get a reduction in firepower the darker tanks will still be the best there is compared to other tanks darker tanks put out the most shots the only thing we don't know is the point cost. So that is what we're going to discuss here. Do we think that, because I declared that was the end of the darker tank. As, as soon as I saw the, the new rule that the tanks reduce the MG shots by half, uh, I was like, yep, that's the end. Um, what do you think, Aaron? Uh, I, I think it still could be okay. Um, mainly because... I, I'm trying to think of, you know, times I've obviously played a lot of DACA tanks or quad maxims and that kind of thing. And providing that my units still had the opportunity to go down, mm. the firepower of the DACA was most of the time irrelevant. Like, yeah. because you can get them to sevens pretty easily, mm. especially if they're, you know, not well positioned and needing to move a down in a soft cover basically gets you to sevens instantly. Um, yeah. So more often than not, I never really found myself getting eliminated from DACA yeah. um, tanks in the past. So what I'm thinking is, is, you know, and, and being on the receiving end of that as well, where my, you know, times I had used Stuarts or whatever in the past, um, and maybe needing to go down you go early with them in the turn um not you know not being able to shoot at stuff that can't go down you can't eliminate them so yeah. what i'm thinking is that potentially they're still quite viable it's easier to hit now so a lot of the time you could throw 20 dice and you're not getting any hits you're not even getting a pin on a seven mm. like you're lucky if you do, yep. and that's even with you know, something like a, a Stuart with a, even with a pencil of 23 dice. So if I can, if, if, you know, I go down with stuff for it, <clears throat> I'm forcing it to yeah, hit me on sevens in V2. Well, that's, that's near on impossible in V3. Yeah. Um, you'll, you'll typically be shooting on sixes or fives in V3, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. At, 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 at probably worse. Like general, it's not going to be experienced. I wouldn't have thought so. You know, it may have moved. So it's probably, mm. yeah, fours, fives at worst. Long range isn't even going to be a problem, which used to be a problem. You know, yep. most of the time you get that DACA tank, especially the first couple of turns, it's long range. Mm. So it's going to be hitting every single time it shoots, which never, ever used to be the case, um, yep. or at least not my opponent's DACAs. So if I'm getting hit by, guaranteed hit by DACA, um, mm. It can split it too because it generally has, you know, coaxial. It's got the pencil. Yeah. So it's yeah. putting out three absolute guaranteed pins every single time if it wants to. Yeah. Um, obviously, by diluting that dice pool, it means that, you know, it's probably not having the potential to do as much damage on each of those, but you're putting out three guaranteed pins. So if that vehicle's a bit cheaper, uh, it's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good for its number of fire. Um, and you may pick up a couple of models here or there. But the big beauty of it is, which is what I was, I'm thinking, if I'm using a tank like that, I'm forcing my opponent to make three decisions that I don't want to make Yeah, straight away. Yeah, do I go um, down or don't I? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which they're probably not going to do against maybe the three dice, the pencil or the coax maybe. Um, but they're wearing that pin regardless, right? But with like, say the six shot, what's that? Oh, we don't know how much the LMG is going to be. So the 
the sponsor. Let, let's to say. let's guess that the LMG is going to be four shots, which means that they're going to be half, which means that you're going to have mm -hmm. two LMGs and one MMG, so seven shots in the hole of a Ducker steward. Yeah. yeah. So set seven, if they're not going down and they're even in there and hard cover, you might pick up a kill or two. You might, yeah. Um, if they are not in cover and don't go down, you might pick up three kills or four yep. even, which yep. is probably where they want to choose to go down. And they're still going to get the pin even if they're going down. So I think they're still definitely an option for sure. Um, yeah. I, th I think there still could be some some merit to them, and and the Stewart's only one example. Yeah, because um, there I'll there are other other interesting uh, vehicles that you could uh, absolutely do similar stuff with. I'm uh, I'm absolutely thinking of my LBT with uh, four potential uh, split fire mm -hmm. uh, directions. Right, uh, a Paulston gun. A hole mounted and and then two pintle mounted uh, machine guns so that's that's four shots in different directions that's a lot of pins that you are almost guaranteed to put out yeah um yeah, yeah for sure what about what yeah. about the vulnerability of of tanks we haven't seen much yet but just just thinking about how it is right now um if if they continue to be vulnerable like they are like weak sides and and the most darker tanks are eight plus uh or seven plus um do you think that that eight or seven plus armor will be enough in version three and that that right there i think is the question because you know generally when you rock up with this Stuart, and i i i think i've sort of talked about this before but like you <laughs> what you probably don't want to see is a dedicated tank that's designed to hunt yours yeah um even that, if that that hellcat yeah. is good <laughs> yeah 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 exa exactly so yeah even even something like you know people talking about maybe even being able to use a t-34 mm. um or uh, you know a, a panzer four again i know they were in vogue for a while there but like yeah. you know stugs people talking about using stugs and which i think actually could be yeah. quite a yeah. strong asset i think so too that increase. Yeah. yeah just because they have good agency um mm. that to he makes a massive difference if they're getting a, the surplus reduction on points because also they don't have a turret then that's also you know that we could be looking at a 140 odd point tank or something i don't know yeah um which is nuts. 140 points tank with an HE uh, how it's a thing that, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that could be the thing. Like the Stuart never really, it didn't have as many threats, right? Like yeah. you might be worried about someone's howitzer, which you could easily sort of avoid direct fire from. You, yeah. you might, like light auto cannons never bothered you. Heavy auto cannons, yeah, yeah. 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 But most of them were stationary, um, right? So you you could ignore them yeah. and just move around. Yeah, this is potentially a problem going forward. Yeah, yeah, it could, it could be. Uh, it could be interesting. Um, so that that yeah, it's definitely something to consider for sure. Uh, yeah, especially if those things become yeah easily accessible through just being a bit cheaper. Yep. I also think that there was one thing with the, the new uh, force organization charts, right? If you take a, a heavy weapons platoon, for instance, you can take, you can take three anti-tank teams. So I guess for Americans, that would be three pot potential bazookas. Um, for Soviets, three potential dog mines or whatever, right? Um, I think the the accessibility of anti-tank assets is going to increase quite a lot so i think potentially tanks is going to struggle um just because of that but as you say mm. we, we don't know the points we don't we don't know what's going to happen here um yeah and it's also hard to say too because even though the access may be there depending on which platoons people decide to fill their army with people will probably lean more in towards those specialist type units based on what they expect to see. 
So, yeah. you know, which, yeah, will be, will be interesting and um, probably does maybe support the view that people are talking about in regards to, you know, skewing lists and rock, paper, scissors yeah. and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah it could, could have a part to play for sure. Um, but I think they're still, uh, I think they're still in play. Um, even if they're slightly changing, yeah, the expectation of what they do. <laughs> I mean, but if all of the games was really clever, they would make sure that a lot more tanks was viable to run, not just the steward, right? They want to sell model kits basically, right? So they, mm. they I mean, making tanks viable would be a great selling point for having your stooks or your whatever, right? Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, for sure. I think too, this is probably the main consideration that I'm thinking is how you win. Yeah. Because we don't know that yet. They've talked no. about a random scenario generator. Well, mm. it all comes down to that for me. Yeah. Like how do you actually score points? Yep. Maybe that's changing. Maybe who knows? I, I don't know. I don't know. Potentially it's changing so that you can only score with that one type of unit. And if you don't have it in your army list, what are you going to do? Mm. Right. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Hard, yeah. hard to say. I'm, I'm not sure. Like, um, maybe they give points to tank on tank kills. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a thing. <laughs> we, we have no idea yet. So all of this is up in the air, but thank you so much for us, uh, Aaron, for, for coming on and, um, uh, talking us through darker tanks. So my doom and gloom, the, the end of the darker tank era may not like it. It's more nuanced now anyway. Um, so that was great. Aaron will be joining me for another video. Um, in a couple of days for you guys we will record it right after this one but but for you guys it'll be a couple of days where we talk about one of the other topics of version three we speculate some more so uh, yeah that was it for now and uh, i will see you all we will see you all in a minute cheers <laughs>